guys um, my name is Jacinta welcome back to my channel so today I have another encouragement video for you guys and today I am going to encourage you to let you know that your past is irrelevant to God and I want to let you know that God can use whomever he wants um, that your past is irrelevant to him as long as you come to him and ask for forgiveness your past is literally irrelevant to him and he can use you from where you're at um, he doesn't need you to come to him squeaky clean he just wants you to come as you are and he can do the work from there so yes I just want to let you know that your past is irrelevant to God and that he can use whomever he wants and so let's get to it <laughs> when I was reading the book of Matthew I came across you know in Matthew chapter 1 verse 5 um, I came across a woman named Rahab and if you go back and study the uh, study Rahab which I did I took it upon myself to uh, study Rahab you find her story in Joshua chapter 2 so as I was looking at that as I was studying that and I went and I read Joshua chapter 2 and I, and I, I, I tried my best to find out as much as I can about this woman named Rahab and if you, when you start reading Joshua, you, you'll notice that the Bible calls her Rahab, the prostitute. And so to my human knowledge, I couldn't like understand comprehend, or comprehend why God will use someone that is a prostitute in the genealogy of his son, Jesus Christ. And... I started questioning, I started thinking, I was like, as I was questioning, I was happy and at the same time, I was still like, wow, like, I was happy, but I was just like, how, you know, God used a prostitute, like a prostitute is the great, great grandmother of our Lord Jesus Christ. So... And, and, and as I was thinking about that and, and I was going over it, God was like, I can use whoever I want. I mean, it doesn't matter what your past is, I can use whoever I want. And I felt really encouraged by that. So as I went to the book of Joshua and I was studying um, Rahab, and, and this is what happened, this is why Rahab um, ended up in the in the genealogy of jesus christ please read joshua chapter 2 you know so that you can be able to understand exactly what i'm talking about so in the book of joshua joshua sent two spies to go spy out the city the city named Jer jericho and, and, and they were spotted so they went to hide uh, in rahab's um, house so and then the king knew that they, the spies were there. So the king sent out men to go find those men, uh, the men that, uh, that Joshua had sent. So the, the men went there, the ones that the king had sent, they went there and they uh, knocked on Rahab's door. They were like, bring out the men that came into your house. The king sent us and blah, blah, blah. We know that they came here and Rahab was like yeah they came to me but I don't know where they went I think they went that way so um you better go after them before it gets late you might catch up to them and <laughs> so uh even she said that to them but and then she sent the men on a goose chase but meanwhile she hit the two spies up in her roof so afterwards, um, she went and spoke to the spy. She was like, I know that God has given you this land. Everyone, we're all melting in fear because I know that the, that your God is the God of heaven and an earth. And we know how he destroys other cities. So um, can you please bear my family uh, when you come to destroy us <laughs> and stuff like that. And um, the spies was like, okay, if you don't tell what we're doing, where we will when we come to take over the city well we will spare you and your family so the spies um went back to joshua and told joshua what all had happened so 
we move forward, um, fast forward to Joshua chapter 6, verse 25. And it says that, um, and Joshua spared Rahab and her family members uh, after they took Jericho. And that Rahab, the prostitute, lives among the Israelites to this day. So, and then you fast forward again to um, the book of Chronicles. In the book of Chronicles, you will find that um, Rahab ended up marrying a man named Simeon. And then, and they ended up having a baby named Boaz. And so Boaz had Obed, and then Obed had Jesse, and then Jesse had King David. And that is the uh, lineage where Jesus Christ came from. From the lineage of King David so it, where I'm getting to is that uh, is is that um, even though she was uh, uh, there in the Old Testament she you know God you know God used her uh, to to bring about King David that later on um, from his lineage came the Messiah and just to clarify though that um, even though that Jesus had a prostitute in his lineage, he still was without sin. Just to clarify that. But interesting part about that also is that when we move forward, um, she didn't just end in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Um, she, she was also moved over to the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews also mentioned her. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 31, it says, By faith, even Rahab the prostitute welcomed the spies and ended up saving her family members and others that were in her household. So the thing that really interested me is that she was a prostitute that God used to bring about our Messiah. And then, even after that, she was mentioned in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 with the great men of faith. She was a prostitute. And the amazing part about it, God didn't like say, okay, I'm just gonna call her Rahab. No, he said, by faith, Rahab the prostitute welcomed the spies. Where I'm getting at is that it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter what your past was like. God can use you to accomplish what he wants to accomplish on this earth. Like, I don't know if you guys find this interesting or not, that God used a prostitute God used somebody even in this day that people will look down upon, that people would want even want to associate with, that many people from the church don't even want to associate with. But God used this woman to bring about our Messiah. And even that, God put her in the book of Hebrews with the great men of faith. He put her along Abraham, Enoch, and Abel, and Noah, and Moses. God put a prostitute in the same chapter with all these great, great men of faith. So what I'm trying to tell you is that it doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter what your past was like. God can use you. It, you don't have to. You don't have to go and clean up yourself. God will clean you up himself. He will make you into the great woman, into the great man of God that he wants. Just let him and stop letting your past defeat you and stop letting your past stop you from what you want to accomplish. Yes, people might judge you. People are going to judge you. People are going to talk about your past. People are going to replay your past over and over and over again. They are going to say, yes, I know what you used to do. I know what Jacinta used to do. I know where, she, you know, I know where he used to do. I know what he did. I know what she did. People are going to replay that for you. But what I want you to understand is that if God can use a prostitute, God can use you. 
God says that your past is irrelevant to him. I believe that is why God did not drop her title, Rahab the prostitute. I believe that God wants us to understand that he is the God that created heaven and earth, that he can use anyone he wants. What is it that you have done? What is it that you have done that is stopping you from moving forward? Yes, you might have gotten pregnant. It's okay. Yes, you might have gotten pregnant and had an abortion. It's okay. Yes, you might be in prison right now for murder. It's okay. Just give your life to God. God can use you from that prison cell to minister to other prisoners. Yes, you used to be a thief. Stop stealing and give your life to God. Yes, he used to be a liar. So was Jacob. Jacob was a deceiver. But through him, God brought the nation of Israel. What is it that you have done that is stopping you from moving forward? I want to let you know that there is nothing that you have done that can stop God from using you, that can stop God from accomplishing what he wants to accomplish in your life. You just have to let him. You just have to surrender to him. I know it's gonna take time for you to completely to surrender to him because I know it took me a while. I fought with God so many times. Just surrender to him. Tell God, I won't let you go until you bless me. I just want to let you know that there's nothing that you have done on this earth that can stop God from using you. There's nothing that you have done that can ever stop God from making greatness out of you. God knows how to make nothing into something to shame the wise things of this world. So, <clears throat> if, you, if you ever doubt yourself and say that God cannot use me, or you might be a girl, you probably was in the same predicament as Rahab, God can use you. Don't be afraid of your past. Don't be afraid of your past. God is going to use all of that. The Bible says that in all things, God works it out for good for those that love him. So I tell you to fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter he's the pioneer of your faith don't worry about what people are going to say about you only what god says is what matters about you i thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful and blessed day bye bye